Hey everybody, I am Saint of Pine Hills and uh, this is the cookhouse. Order up. Say so, hey, I'm Saint of Pine Hills. Uh, I am a uh, pop meets lo-fi meets singer songwriter genre uh, based out of South Florida, uh, but born and raised in Orlando. <laughs> Yeah, so this first EP is totally different than anything else I've ever done. Uh, being my first time as a solo project, just wanted to put out something fun to establish my name. And all of these songs are uh, from that lo-fi chill step genre that I've enjoyed over the last couple of years. Um, nothing I've ever done before. Uh, but I've met up with my friend from Cabin 13. His name is Alejandro Cruz, and he is the mastermind behind this first uh, self-titled EP. He blew it out of, out, of, out of the water. Yeah, he did such a great job with this first EP. Man, there's always pressure for that, <laughs> especially being the first one. It's like, uh, okay, what? how are people going to take this? Uh, all of my other music doesn't really sound like this at all. Uh, and how is it all going to come together? But I gave um, Alejandro just a shell for each song, and uh, I think he he just did wonders with with it with his instrumentation, his producing, and his mixing uh, work. Yeah, so every song is connected mainly around love. Uh, even with Heavy Eyes being a song about death and, and about making the most of the time that we have right now, it still just comes back down to the, uh, the center of love um, and just uh, uh, the, the opening track, Love in the Time of COVID-19, was actually written uh, while I was in North Florida for my father-in-law's funeral and it just kind of came to me. It, it was upbeat. It was kind of weird because it's like, why, why am I thinking of like a upbeat song uh, as we're at my uh, father-in-law's funeral? But, but that set the precedent for the rest of this this EP. In my mind, was man, even though uh, we are in uncertain times, uh, love brings us all together, and um, we all want to experience love. So um, let's put it out there uh, in everything that we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, in addition to that one, to uh, Love in the Time of COVID-19, um, the song uh, after that for Heavy Eyes, that was uh, just something that came to me while I picked up a ukulele. And uh, it was like, all right, here's a happy instrument. I'm going to write a happy song now. <laughs> and then all these heavy words came in of uh, about, yeah, like just the brevity of life. And uh, that pushed that song into a whole different... Um, a trajectory that I was originally planning on for that song. After that, uh, there is um, there's uh, McDee's drive through that came to me while I was delivering one night. I was stuck in a McDonald's drive through at midnight for over 30 minutes, and I was just thinking to myself, if I wait here any longer, I'm just gonna lose my shit <laughs> if I have to sit here. And then I just started humming. Uh, a different uh, uh, all these all these this tune in my head and it, it wouldn't get out of my head for over a week so I had to put that to music and my friend uh, Quinny the Foo who features on McDee's drive through he took the verse he took the the short uh, time that he had in the song and man he ran with it and he did such a phenomenal job and turned the track from what was originally like 30 seconds it was just gonna be an interlude, and he turned the track into like a summertime, uh, happy, uh, chill track that I think it it adds so much dynamic uh, to this this first EP. Uh, yeah, and then um, then loving is easy. The so that's like the 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 cover. I I didn't know if I wanted to do a cover song since it's my first EP, but then I was like, ah, screw it. There's so many bands I know that for their first uh, even album. They do like a cover album. Uh, but Lovin' Is Easy by Rex Orange County uh, has been a favorite of mine for like the last five years. 
four or five years, something like that, however long it's been out, um, always puts me in a great mood. And I thought, well, let's slow it down a little bit. And I'm gonna retrace my, my R&B uh, roots from when I first started singing. Cause when I first started singing, all I listened to was like Brian McKnight and uh, <laughs> an artist like him trying to match my voice. Uh, so yeah, with, with uh, Loving Is Easy, I felt let's, let's try that. And again, Alejandro, uh, the mastermind, the, the, uh, the, the keyboards, uh, the, the piano that he did with this track was just so amazing. Um, hits me, hits me right, right in the soul. Uh, makes me feel good every time I hear him play. But yeah, so it was 2020 and I'm trying to get this, this project off the ground and looking at different designs, not really knowing what I like. And then just scrolling through Instagram and I see this one from uh, Faluther Designs. Uh, and he is based in Indonesia. And I just hit him up randomly. I was like, hey man, love that design. Um, if, uh, if I could modify it, I, I would just love to buy it from you. And so yeah, we, we were able to work that out. And um, then I just took that and since this song leans more towards that lo-fi, that chill step um, songs to study to on YouTube kind of a, a vibe, I felt like, well, there's more of like that Japanese influence uh, that, that this could, could hold. So in my uh, bastardized Japanese translation, <laughs> I just took each, uh, each track and uh, just as, as good as I could for the titles and, and put them, um, just laid it over this design just to tie it all together and um, uh, just make it all just one one giant uh, art piece. Um, the uh, There's a bonus track for everybody listening to this. It's on Bandcamp and SoundCloud and it's nothing really um, special, <laughs> but I, uh, I had a good time um, recording it I don't want to totally give it away because you got to check it out but it was from uh, one of my favorite movies from the late 90s i just took a couple of lines from it put it with the lo-fi track that i found of like the theme song for that movie and i was able to tie it all together but if there has to be a favorite that's probably my favorite off of it yeah so pretty much right after we had just talked with the first, uh, my first appearance with Cookhouse, um, I was able to go and, and track this EP uh, with Alejandro, and um, all of these things have been swirling around even during the interview. While I was trying to conceptualize everything. Um, I had that one set. We tracked it all in October. Did some tweaking, mixing all the way up until even recently, until like maybe two weeks ago, right before it released. Uh, January, I was able to start production on my second EP, which will be a totally different flavor. It'll be more of like a um, like a folk singer songwriter meets indie uh, uh, vibe for that that EP. That's set to uh, release next year though in uh, 2023. But um, yeah, trying to stay busy. Uh, a couple of, of tours around, short tours, uh, going leaving Florida, uh, trying to get out of Florida and, and go somewhere that has seasons. Um, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. Besides that, yep. Just, just trying to stay busy. Yeah, I think this is just an introduction of, hey, here I am. Um, the, the tracks I released before this were just singles of one, one prodigal. Don't be afraid was an older song I had written with my uh, previous band, and I recorded a Christmas uh, cover, and that. Uh, so this is a. Here I am uh, at Santa Pine Hills. I just, I love to have fun with this music and it's uh, it's my first solo project. So it's nothing I'm taking like really, really serious. Uh, I want it to be, to, to always be fun. Um, and I want these songs to be catchy and if they get stuck in your head, then all right, that's, that's the purpose of this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think as an artist, I, I just want to to challenge myself even more. 
uh, and to to write stuff that I'm not used to writing. Uh, that and this <laughs> this EP is definitely stuff that I was not used to writing at all. Um, I was used to singing it, but yeah, when it came to um, the instrumentation and everything on it, it was a challenge. Um, and I just wanted to reflect, yeah, growth that, um, yeah, from from me to the listener to everybody that that hears this album, uh, growth is so important. Um, and just keep challenging yourself, uh, keep growing, uh, and um, yeah, keep evolving into the artist that you want to, to be and you want to see yourself in the future. Hey, I've been Saint of Fine Hills. Thank you so much for watching The Cookhouse. My first EP is out now, streaming everywhere. It's on Bandcamp, SoundCloud. So check it out and make sure to like, follow, and subscribe.